There are many different ways to set a record and leave your mark in the Guinness World Record Book. While some have more at stake than others, it's fair to say that not all records are created equal. There's only a select few genuinely shocking achievements that are just about guaranteed to take your breath away. Today I'm going to show you some of the craziest records that are almost impossible to break. Brave enough to take a look? Let's get it on! Tallest Bed of Nails Humans have limits. It's in our nature not to do things that could hurt us so we can survive. But some people ignore those limits and do crazy things anyway. That's exactly what these record holders did. Not only did they decide to lie on a bed of nails, but they decided to become the tallest stack of people on nail beds in history by shockingly lying on top of each other. These nine men, each with their own bed of nails, were gently laid down on top of one another. Each one not only has a bed of nails on top of them for the next person to lie on, but just just to make it even more terrifying, they have nails trying to pierce their skin from both sides. Imagine being the guy on the bottom lying on a nail bed with another nail bed on your chest and eight grown men on top of that. He was pushing his limits for sure. Wingsuit jump into boxes. Skydiving is way too scary for most people to attempt. However, skydiving without a parachute is literally insane. Most of us would consider it a death sentence, but there was a man who didn't, the stuntman Gary Connery. He decided that jumping out of a helicopter without a parachute and landing on a pile of boxes would be a fun thing to do one afternoon, so he did it. The stunt is just as incredible as it sounds. He wore a specially designed wingsuit which would help him to glide the 2,400 feet to the ground and make him the first person person ever to jump from such a dizzying height without a deployed parachute and live to tell the tale. All he had to do was break his 45 second 80 mile per hour plummet toward the ground with a strip of cardboard boxes. 18,600 of them. It certainly was a leap of faith. And just in case you weren't sure, against all odds he did actually manage to survive the previously impossible stunt. Fastest Mountain Bike Mountains and bikes don't make the safest combination even at the best of times. So what happens when you add in breakneck speeds and kick it up a notch? Frenchman Eric Barone can tell you. He took his bike up the Alps to break his own downhill mountain biking record. But as scary as mountain biking sounds to most people, Barone added in an extra element to increase the danger. Snow. In a wind chill temperature below freezing, wind speeds topping 40 miles per hour and slippery snow, Barone broke his very own fastest downhill mountain biking on snow record with a white knuckle 141.498 miles per hour. But just in case you were thinking, what could go wrong? Have a look at this. A lot can go wrong as it turns out, as his previous attempt shows. A previous attempt a few years ago caused a crash which saw Barone break his femur and six ribs. It's actually not as easy as it looks, which is really saying something since it doesn't seem easy at all. Deepest Ice Free Dive Falling into the ice is incredibly dangerous, since your body is programmed to panic under those harsh conditions. The cold shock makes you hyperventilate and breathe in water. The dark disorients you so you struggle to find your way back out, and your frantic swimming uses up vital energy. Many people don't survive it. Now imagine someone crazy enough to do that to themselves on purpose. In 2019, New Zealander Anthony Williams achieved the world record for the deepest free dive under ice. Armed with nothing but fins and a diving suit, he plunged an incredible 230.6 feet under the ice of a frozen fjord in Norway. The dive lasted 2 minutes and 29 seconds as he held his breath, overcoming the incredible mental and physical challenges of diving under ice. It's not only the biting cold he had to contend with, he described the darkness as possibly his greatest challenge, saying it was incredibly difficult to sink into the black depths of the water all alone without panicking. 157 Day Swim some people are content to just break world records. After all, it's a pretty big deal. But other superhumans will go out of their way to ensure nobody can top them. That's what British adventurer Ross Edgley did when he broke the record for the longest stage sea swim by swimming around the entire mainland of the United Kingdom. That already sounds insane and incredible, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. The swim is an incredible 1,791 miles long and took 157 days for Edgley to 
complete, but he broke the record way back on day 74 of the Ultimate Marathon Swim. He didn't stop though, never once stepping foot on dry land despite battling incredible pain and chafing from his wetsuit that was taking skin off his neck, jellyfish stings, whirlpools, near hypothermia that left him picking ice off his wetsuit, major storms, and a disintegrating tongue due to overexposure to salt from the seawater. He only rested occasionally on a catamaran carrying his crew who accompanied him, but he was in the water swimming for an incredible 12 hours a day. This is one record we're not likely to see broken anytime soon. Most Base Jumps in 24 Hours when performing a stunt that requires you to risk your life, you generally don't want to overdo it and tire yourself out. Then again, maybe you're Miles Dacier. He doesn't know the meaning of the word tired, and that's why he holds the world record for the most human-powered base jumps in 24 hours. For a base jump to be human-powered, it requires the person doing the jumping to also make their way to the top of whatever they're jumping off on foot. Dacier was jumping off a 486-foot high bridge, and by now you're probably wondering how many times he risked his life jumping off that bridge only to have to walk back to the top? The answer is 63. This truly incredible feat not only required 68 leaps of faith, but a total of 30,618 feet of climbing back to the top, which for the record is more climbing than if Daisha had climbed to the top of Mount Everest. In fact, the combined climbing from only 60 of his 63 base jumps would have got him up Everest, and all this completed within 24 hours and without any injuries. Highest Urban Slackline We'll never tire of watching amazing people walk across any tiny piece of rope, from the classic circus tightrope to the exciting slackline. But you've never seen a slackline quite like this one before. This one was set up to give people the chance of breaking the world record for the highest urban slackline walk with a harness. Of course, for a record like that, the height has to be truly spectacular, and this doesn't disappoint. It was strung across two skyscrapers in Moscow, but not just any two. One is the second tallest building in Europe, and the other which was under construction during the attempt, was set to become the tallest. This attempt dwarfed the previous 810-foot-high record with a dizzying 1,148 feet. Daredevils from all over the world were allowed to attempt the incredible walk above Moscow's business district, and seven amazing people from four countries managed to complete the breathtaking challenge, with one even trying out a bit of yoga while hanging from the piece of netting attached to a skyscraper. Just because more than one person achieved this stunt, it clearly doesn't mean there's anything less than spectacular about it. Restraining four motorcycles there are some truly remarkable displays of strength throughout history, and this may be the most spectacular. The Austrian world's strongest man competitor Franz Mühlner decided that the best way to showcase his Herculean strength was to physically restrain not one, but four motorcycles. Each bike was attached to one of his limbs in a setup, which is slightly reminiscent of some form of medieval torture. Then the professional riders get a chance to do what they do best. Professionals were essential because they needed to ensure that each motorbike exceeded 500 newtons of force. Otherwise, Mjolnir would have lost the world record, which proves his hard work. The strength it took to restrain the motorcycles was incredible, with just his one leg having to hold back 385.8 pounds at one point, and all his limbs had to handle that in tandem. Still, he managed to take it a step further than anyone expected. He only needed to restrain the bikes for 10 seconds to get the world record, but somehow managed to hold them back for an astounding 24 seconds. At least now we all know who wins in the battle between man and machine. Tallest House of Cards there are things at first which don't seem impressive until you see them done by an expert. Brian Berg is one of those incredible people who's proven beyond a doubt about how amazing card stacking can be. In 2016, he broke the record for the world's tallest house of cards built in 12 hours. Still not impressed? What if I told you the house of cards was 10.8 feet tall and the card equivalent of a 48-story house? Still not impressed? What if I told you he built it on top of a running washing machine? Brian Brian is actually an architect, so if he can build the world's tallest house of cards on top of a washing machine which is spinning at 1000 RPM while standing on a ladder, he should probably be designing skyscrapers for places that suffer from earthquakes. Iron Man Speed 
most people accept superhero movies as fiction. They're only a dream like flying. But not everyone accepts that dreams are just dreams. That's where British inventor Richard Browning comes in. He's built himself a flying suit, effectively becoming a real-life Iron Man. In 2017, he took the world record for fastest speed in a body-controlled jet engine-powered suit at a speed of 32 miles per hour, which is already impressive. Then in 2019, he appeared again in an all-new 3D printed lightweight suit to try and beat his own record in the skies above the historic Brighton Pier. He didn't beat it though, he smashed it with an incredible speed of 85.06 miles per hour. The incredible suit is controlled by body movement alone, has the ability to fine tune its power mid-flight and features leg wings and leg straights which can lift the flyer aerodynamically like a plane, which allowed the new model to break the record by putting more power into propelling rather than just lifting them off the ground. It apparently does feel just like flying in a dream. Hopefully one day soon we'll all be able to fly around in one of those too. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too.